Well, here's an unusual spectacle you'll soon be seeing if you should happen to be in the Lisbon area. It's Davy Jones, the smallest man in the world, driving what must surely be the smallest car in the world. It's only four feet long and 18 inches wide. It's driven by a 75cc petrol engine and can travel at 14 miles per hour. It can do 70 miles to the gallon. This, by the way, is Davy's first trial run. Well, Davey, I think the best thing I can do here is sit down. Yeah, oh. sure. <laughs> well, this is the first time that you've been at the controls of your new car. What yeah. was it like? Very nice, very nice. Enjoyed it. I believe that even this car is too big for you. Is that right? Yes, it is. What did you have to get done to oh, well, it? Well, I had to get uh, the modifications off. Bringing the, the clutch up to me, the foot brake and the hand brake. That was all remodeled for me. And... Uh, Everything's quite all right. On the, the pull-up start, I'll have to get it short. <laughs> it's a bit long at the yeah, moment. Yes, yes, at the moment. That's the only thing about it. How much did the car cost? It cost £125. That's pretty cheap when you yes. think of the bigger cars, how much they cost. Yes, a real Jaguar costs 1850 Well, you see, I get minus small doses. <laughs> this is one of the advantages of being small. Oh, yes, definitely. Tell me, Davy, apart from... Um, uh, trying to get a car which is small enough for you to drive. What are the other disadvantages of being... Uh, how tall are you? Two foot two. What are the other disadvantages? Well, uh, I can't go to the football match. And I can't go into crowds, or I can't be uh, in a queue for anything, because they fall over me. They don't <laughs> see me. What, happened to, what happens to you when you go to the post office, for instance? Well, I go to the counter, knock it, step back and say I want a stamp. <laughs> and what about when you go into the pub? Well, I don't stand at the bar, I go behind the bar. That's the advantage I have over the big men. I can draw my own pint. <laughs> because you can always sit on the counter as well. Yeah, sit on the pint tumbler, oh yes. Um, what about uh, when you're in the home? You must come up uh, against a great number of difficulties. Oh yes, I do. I come on a bit, such as uh, having little step ladder to take me up onto the, the big cupboards and things. But I have got a little chair and a, a little table that I use when I'm on my own. When I have visitors, I have to use the big furniture. Davy, you've been in show business all your life, and you, you've obviously met some very famous people. Yes, quite a few. I met Guy Newell, the star of the ghost train. I met uh, Rita Hayward and uh, Doris Day and also a few other ones, the famous Jack Doyle. Tell me the story about Jack Doyle. Oh, yes. That's the time he came to Lisbon. Well, a friend of mine had a hotel called the Railway Hotel, and he asked me to come and see Jack Doyle, for he didn't believe there was a man as small as I. So he'd come to the hotel, and I'd come up, and I just sat stood beside the chair where Doyle was sitting, and he looks up at Mr. Robinson and he says, where's this little man you're talking about? I haven't seen him. And Mr. Robinson says, there he's down there. And Doyle looks, oh, he says, he is small. He stood up, well, Jack's six foot, three and a half. So he went into the bar, and I bit him put me on the top of the counter, put the pint tumbler, and I sat on it. Yes. And he had to laugh at that, of course. <laughs> so I says to Jack, now I'll bet you a drink to the bar that I can do what you can't do. And of course, Jack looked at me and he said, I, you can do what I can't do. I said, yes. He says, well, what would that be? Well, I says, you just come around to the other side of the counter, put me on the floor, and you'll see. So Jack come around the other side, put me on the floor. Now I says, Jack, you're six foot three, you're in the guards. 
Yes, he says I was. Well, I says, now I'm going to show you how to do what you can't do. So he says, what's that? I says, stand straight in front of me there and stand to attention. I'll drill you. So Jack went forward, he stood the tension. I says, now stand at ease. So he stood at ease, I stand easy. So he opened his legs wider, and I walked straight through, <laughs> walked back again. Now I says, you do that with me. And you earned turn ten pounds. <laughs> yeah, so all the boys had a drink on Jack Doyle that day. <laughs> well, Davy, cost him ten pounds. Davy's been fine talking to you, and I wish you many, many you. happy automoting with your thank new you. car. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.